How's it going you guys? Kyle, Repic here to teach you a really fun advanced combo using a vault box and all you gotta know is a palm spin and a full twist. Just like so. If you don't have either of those basics down, or I don't know if I'd consider a full twist basic, but if you don't have your palm spin down, there's a tutorial right there for you to learn. If you don't have your full twist down, there's a tutorial right there for you to learn. Go ahead and get those movements down, watch those videos, get those tips, and then come back to here and we'll combine them both into one movement. All right, so when you're doing your palm spin on top of the vault box, you want to make sure that you aren't putting your hand in an open spot like this, anywhere where it can slip. You want to have grip. So if you're using a rail or something or a smaller space, you just want to have your fingertips gripping. Whether you hold it like this or if you have both hands like that, just whatever is comfortable, but you want to have that control with your hand placement because you're going to have to control how you drop down as you plant your feet. So as you pop up, you just want to make sure that you're putting one foot down and swinging the other one around. So one foot down, let the other leg just kind of swing around. And as I'm doing this whole spinning around motion, transferring as I'm going from one foot to the other, that's why it's important to have your hand placement there. If I don't have my hand control, I don't have control over how I can pivot just like I am right now. Because that's what's gonna play a huge part into when you go into the full twist motion. So just drill the palm spin up and just get your foot placement down and pay attention to your posture. Don't let your chest be so far over your feet. If you're coming up like this, then you're gonna be throwing your full twist straight up and you're likely to come back down the same edge. You wanna practice letting your chest come up and allowing the one, two motion to carry your chest up. So watch how this works. One, two, as I stand. So just practice bringing your chest up where your legs are still slightly bent. That way you can have a nice controlled jump back. If you're having trouble feeling the control of when you're popping up and you keep landing and you feel your momentum being more on this side instead of carrying back where you can easier transition into your full twist, pay attention to your legs when you're landing. Land on top of the vault box or the obstacle with your legs bent. If you go legs straight, that's what posts you up right here. If you come up legs bent, you can allow your body to correct itself and then jump back. And notice how right now my feet are spread apart. If you like doing your full twists, with your feet closer together, then control your palms in to come out with your feet right next to each other. You control your body, so make sure that you're bringing your feet where you need to bring them to assist you all to set you up for that full twist. <laughs> Once you've got a lot of control on how you pop up and you got your feet in the position that you need them to be, just do a couple full twists with your feet in that same position and get comfortable with the movement if you haven't already. Getting comfortable is super important because it's essential to making sure that you're comfortable with transitioning from one into the other. And that's what we're gonna work on right now is that transition point and getting comfortable with it. Before you actually full twist or backflip or anything, you just wanna kinda of go up and go off. What you're gonna do there is just practice bringing your chest up enough that way you're pushing back. It is so important, I can't stress enough, how much you do not wanna do a full twist onto your face in the vault box. So just really make sure your chest is coming back. And it doesn't take too long, just drill a couple hops. When the hop feels comfortable, that's when you go to your back flip. So, pop up, but don't rush into it. You have this leg swinging around, and that can pull you to the side. So you wanna make sure that your leg is coming straight down as you go into your back flip. If your leg isn't coming straight down, and it's pulling you around, you're gonna to wanna to naturally do your full twist. But we're gonna talk about why that could be bad in a little bit. Once you've got great control over your back flip and you're not throwing yourself to the side, you're going to go ahead and use that leg that swings around like that. And as that foot comes down, your hands come up. But you don't want to go foot down, punch your armpit, and then just wrap into the full. That's where bad things happen. Don't forget to set. I know it's a very gymnast thing to say, but the set just really makes sure that you get up and away from the vault box. After that, the movement should be very easy and fun. Enjoy it after you set. So, foot comes down. Hands come up, and you want to set up and away from the vault box as you punch your armpit. But set first, then punch. So, foot down, hands up, set, twist, into your full. If you're having trouble going into your full twist, and you're having issues transitioning into that twisting part as you set, just think about reaching over your shoulder and looking over that shoulder so you can spot the ground. And as you're going up and you feel your feet leave the ground, punch your armpit. Pull your arms in, keep those hips aligned with your shoulders, and then just look for the ground. When you see the ground, pull your feet underneath you. After that, you just drill. 
and make sure that you're not throwing yourself to the sides. Make sure you're staying nice and straight, working on your set. And then working on your landings too and just adding some flair to it. Have fun, get creative, and play. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned a great bit from it. If I haven't helped you or if you're still having problems, throw comments in the section below. If you have video links that you can share with me so I can watch you try your movement, then I can help you out personally. Oh my god, I'm tired. But here's some slow mos. Thanks for watching. Take good care and stay positive.